Welcome back, everybody. This is the PM Show with Mr. Robert Conrad. And who else? I'm Eric Kimes, the consummate co-host this and Wild Wild Ride. Uh, of course, you guys out in the listening audience out there around the world, yeah. Uh, cracking jokes here during the break, trying to catch my breath. Let's get over to Christophe in, uh, in France and uh, speak to Christophe. Christophe, welcome to your show. Oh, hello, Uncle Bob. Hello, Rick. Uh, I'm Christophe. so happy to participate. Christophe, yes? where are you? I'm here. You, you hear me? Austin? I got you right now, Christophe. How's it going, buddy? Hello, Uncle, Uncle Bob. Hello, Rick. I can hear you just fine, Christophe. I can't hear you at all. Hello, I'm so happy to participate at this radio show. Can, I can hear him just fine, Bob. Bob. I can't hear him. You can't hear him at all? No. You sure? Yes. Can you hear me okay? Yes, perfectly. That's so strange. Christoph, go ahead. Can you, uh, can you speak up a little bit, my friend? Um, I'm so happy to participate at this radio show, Uncle Bob. Yes, I can hear Great. it. Okay, Excellent. go, go ahead, Christoph. I, ta I take this opportunity to wish you a very good birthday. Thank you, monsieur. Thank you very, very much. Uh, it's a chance um, that you give us uh, all your fans uh, to speak with you. Good. Now, let me ask you a question. When I go to Paris, do you have a place you think where I could go, a hotel and stay, where we could have a few people in the, in the lounge, where we could invite some VIP people like yourself that have supported my career? And um, um, I want you to think about that, and maybe you could send the material here to... Uh, our office, and uh, he should send it to. Uh, uh, are you helping me? Are you going to tell? I'm, I'm hearing yes, it. Uh, I, I, I have an address to, to on for you. It? You want to send it to Courtney? Just go ahead Courtney. and send it to Courtney. Yeah. I have an address, uh, 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 Champs Elysees. Champs Elysees, of course. But oh, you want me on the Champs Elysees? That's uh, down, downtown. Last time I was there, I stayed about a block off. But the Champs Elysees is wonderful. Um, Whatever, just figure it out and send it to her. So now it's, uh, you know, several months away because I'll come in the summer, probably July, and uh, I want to make sure that I do it right, okay? Okay, Uncle Bob. What's your question, Monsieur? Um, today I'm preparing three news questions. Uh, first, uh, do you remember what was your reaction the first time you, you see yourself on a big screen? Uh, I suppose it was in 1968 uh, with the movie entitled The Thundering Jet. Oh, no, it wasn't 68, it was 1958. Oh. It was, ten, it was 10 years older, and earlier, and I saw it, and I thought, okay. You know, I mean, I never took anything about that uh, in a romantic way. I just said, it's your profession, and uh, I didn't embrace it. It was just my job. Next question. Uh, in 1965, you played in the movie Young Dillinger. I suppose you've been enjoyed because uh, you played with your great friend, uh, Nick Adams. And John can you Ash tell us, uh, and, and John can Ashley. Can you tell us few? And John yes. Ashley. Ashley too, yes. Uh, can you tell us few words about your participation in, in this uh, movie with, uh, with, with them? We had a wonderful time, the three of us. And then we had a leading lady. And our star, uh, uh, Nick Adams, kind of got smitten by this beautiful lady. And, and also uh, Vic Biono. We were all in this wonderful dressing room that Natalie Wood had had for West Side Story, and the three of us were there, and we thought, we'll have fun, we'll have cocktails after work and just visit and have fun. And then all of a sudden, Nick asked if we would move. We would what? He said, would you move? And he m moved us out so he could move in, this beautiful uh, leading lady. And when they were acting in the movie, we would sit on the sidelines and make fun of them. And it was a great experience. Okay, next question, monsieur. Um, my last question. In 1977, you received an award for your performance on the Black Sheep Squadron series. It was the 1977 People's Choice Award. Yes. Uh, what memories keep you uh, this moment of your career? Can you tell us about this particular time? Well, I went into another thing in 77 which was the Stuntman's Hall of Fame. And 77 was a good year for Uncle Bob, and I was very, very happy yes. to have uh, been uh, acknowledged for the hard work I had tried to put into my career. And like it is now, I'm here for one reason, one reason only, only, only. And that's to meet people like you. And when we're in France, we will have fun, monsieur, but I'm bringing with me a lady. So if you're looking for any women to meet with me, forget it, I'm bringing one with me. And she's Latin, do you believe that? Yes. Yes, she speaks Spanish. So you can help me with it because I just speak broken English from the neighborhood. So Marisol. 
No, Marisol will see her in Spain, okay? Okay, okay. Do you drink 